cracks are already beginning to show in the marriage between Lark Voorhees and her alleged former gang member <laughs> husband, Jimmy Green. They're still together? Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> While oh, Lark gosh. stood by her man in a recent Entertainment Tonight interview saying, we are selectively together for all the right reasons, what does that mean? <laughs> okay. Her mother says differently. Patricia Voorhees filed a restraining order against Jimmy Green wow. because she said that he was threatening towards her and was sleeping in her own home at night even though he'd agreed not to when he married her daughter. Mm. Now, yes, <laughs> according to Patricia, Lark is bipolar and still lives with her mother because mm. she's mentally, emotionally, wow. yeah, unstable. And for his part, Jimmy denies he was threatening. He said no, but... He was blunt and demanding. Although <laughs> I'm like, what are you demanding? In a lady's house? Yes, I'm like, you're in, in a lady's house. house. You Your you mother in law's house. house. Right, in the woman's house. Yeah, I mean. ridiculous. <laughs> um, and he insists that his marriage to Lark is not a scam or a way to get money. You know, they about to do this business. They doing wow. this business. <laughs> so anyway. Like, not my baby, not my daughter. <laughs> uh, I feel sorry for so, her. No, no, I mean, during uh -huh. the interview, if you saw it, I mean, she rambled. She seemed a bit out of it. You know, mm -hmm. we're still not really sure about her mental state, so yeah. I don't know how this is going to play out. My question to you guys, do you think she should have even gotten married? No. Yeah. The well, consent, she probably doesn't have the consent. If she has bipolar. If she's and in she's love. On, no, but if she... Bipolar people can be in love, too. Oh, oh God, <laughs> help me. They can. No. They can, they can. Okay. The but if she know. cannot live on her own because her mother needs to take care of her because of whatever reasons, that's something different. That's mm. not a bipolar person that's taking her medications and living a life outside mm. of a care. Right. Think about right. that. Right. Now, I mean, now the point. husband is responsible for her technically. Right. And if she was not able to enter in, into that marriage agreement lawfully because she does not have the capacity, mm. now but we have how, an issue. Yeah, but how are you going to prove that? Exactly. You can easily prove that. You can just go have a, a doctor check her out to no, see their 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 capacity tests. So mm. mentally, mm -hmm. she's okay. basically her mother saying that mentally she wasn't prepared on her right mindset when she got married. Right. right. And she's yeah. easily swayed. Think this, about that. I'm sorry. Does anybody know what this guy does? Does he do anything professional? He's a, he's a musical engineer. So okay. they're working on a new album with, oh, with okay. Lark. She's starting her album. Wow. So exactly. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm like, the whole Good thing. That. Good luck with that. <laughs> it's very it's funny. Funny. sad. It was very sad, yes. though. I didn't know that. I didn't know she was suffering from that. I didn't know. Just I had no Lisa, idea. She's the from Say From the Bell. And you're like, oh my God, Lisa. She gave him away. And I was like, what the hell is wrong with Lisa? She continues to deny it. She continues to deny it. She says, no, I'm very, I'm very healthy <laughs> mentally. I've always been healthy I mentally. I was a little crazy. And she rambles on <laughs> and on. crazy.